Can't think of a better way to celebrate such a delicious milestone. <laughs> oh, 200K never tasted so good. <laughs> Hello and good morning, everyone. Good morning from Easter Egg Palace. You've got a this few Easter eggs here. This is Easter Island. Easter Island. You've Easter actually Island. arrived. Yes, we are here, you guys. I will say, we've got three full bins of Easter eggs and candy, but mom, what do we normally have on one of these Easter eggs? We cards? probably have about double this. I would actually. say normally six full bins, so participation a little lower this year. It's pretty dang cold outside. It's sunny, but it's like 34. The time that we're supposed to do it's supposed to be 40, I saw. Okay, so we get into the 40s. That's good. That's a plus. But guys, we're about to head over right now, scatter these Easter eggs all over the park. Done this, like mom said, like probably almost I 10 years, eight, 10, 10 years. 10 years because I feel like we started when Ryler and Turin were probably like two. And last year would have been the last year those boys could have participated. Unfortunately, it was canceled last year and this year they're too old. So sorry, right guys, you can't go Easter egg hunting. 11 because we feel like once they hit 11, they're like older kids. They're gonna just be knocking over the little ones. And then we ones. do a separate spot for like the three toddlers. and younger. We divide it up into sections. So there'll be one section that's for like the three and under. And those are kind of the little toddlers just kind of like taking their time with their parents. We don't want them to get knocked over by like the savage crews out there that are just like running, sprinting to the eggs as fast as they can. It's a nice little mix, nice little separation there. But this year, I say so few, there's still quite a few, hundreds there's of eggs still, in there. Yeah. But so few, we're gonna have to try and pick and choose our spots, where we put the eggs, how we line everybody up, and when we let them loose. We're gonna go over there, get this set up, get the eggs spread out, get the neighborhood over, and then we're gonna let the kids loose on this. I'm so excited. We are about to get started. The eggs are out all over the field. We're gonna line the kids up in age from like two to three. They get to go first at their own park. Four and five, six get to go, and then we release the rest of them. So we're lining them up right now, doing some stretches, ready to get this party started. Crew and Brax had to do a 10 second penalty because they were trying to hide eggs for themselves earlier. Claire was nice enough to sit the penalty out with them, but they've just been released. All the kids are out. It's a madhouse. It's Easter fun. got back from a fantastic 10th annual, I'm calling it that, I don't know what it really is. I think it's actually 11. 11? Because the boys are 13. Well, that's right, and they were two. two. But because we missed one, 10th annual. That's right. Easter egg hunt, Bingham edition, and it was a fantastic success. Eggs everywhere, kids running, having a great time. It was so fun. I gotta say, I love our neighborhood, every neighborhood we've been in the last couple neighborhoods. People are so gracious after. They thank us, They're like, so repeatedly for putting it together. Everyone is so kind. Everyone makes sure before they leave, they have their kids walk up and say thank you. So it makes it all the worth of seeing the kids' smiles on their faces as they run and chase down eggs and fill their baskets. Because of the way mom runs it, with with every kid bringing one bag of candy, the kids walk away with a bag's worth of candy. It is a full Easter basket full of eggs. They feel like they're having like the day of their lives. It makes it a ton of fun for us. But that's wrapped up in the books for at least another year. Now we gotta move on to bigger, better things. We have a Disney World vacation coming up this week. As you guys are watching this, it is going to be this week that we're leaving. And so there is a oh lot gosh, to do just... to prep for that. Sorry, I just gonna say, I think <laughs> I'm gonna freak you out just now. <laughs> We got on and we looked at the forecast because all we've been doing all along is preparing for 90, 90 degree weather. Plus. Short, short sleeves, tank tops for the kids, anything to just try and stay cool in that hot, hot heat. Well, we looked at the forecast, it's like highs in the 60s a couple of the days. 60s and 70s, I was like, this might be colder than we were thinking. Mornings and evenings could be pretty chilly. So we're gonna go do a little bit of pre-Disney shopping, see if we can find some warmer Disney gear to go along with all of our shorts and short sleeve stuff. Let's make sure we're prepared for anything that might be in store when we hit up Disney World. So excited. Just got to the mall. We're gonna go hit up the Disney store first. I don't know where else you go besides Disney if you want some Disney stuff. I mean, go straight to the source. Uh, but I do have to say, guys, if the parking situation is any indication of what it's like, I have never seen this many cars, many people out it is so in the crazy. last year. I think people are excited to see the sun out. They're excited to get out. Everyone is out. We're on the hunt for possibly zip up type things because that's gonna be easy on and off. Like you easy can zip off. off. And I feel like it's gonna get like the clouds are gonna come, you're gonna be like, oh, I'm cold, and then the sun's gonna come out, you're gonna be warm, so on and off. Hold up, see if they have your size, dude. This is dope. This is like the child Mandalorian little baby Yoda. Those are sick. Okay, dude, what's the back look like? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Do you feel yeah. like this might be a little thick though? Like that feels like it could almost be, be perfect for the night, which is the only time I'll wear the jacket. Oh, we were looking for maybe fanny packs. That's a pretty big one. That's a good backpack. I like that. It's Shimmery shiny. Yeah, but it's pretty big. It is a little yeah, bit big. A little, a little bit big. A little bit big. How cute this is. Well, I like that.
coming out of the mall pretty successfully there. Actually found some great finds. We'll show you guys what we got. Mom ended up finding some cool hand sanitizer holders for the kids. We found a swimmer for crew. And I feel like we got one other thing. Oh, we got face masks, which is I'm eating mine right now, but Hazy Girl's getting tired, so I'm carrying her through the parking lot here. We're gonna go on to the next door though. We didn't find as many things as we would hope to find. We were looking for like zip up jackets, things like that. They didn't have a ton of those there. So we're gonna go hit up Target, see if we can find some more things there. Just going into Target, I think we're gonna see if we can find a family pack for one of the kids and maybe a better zip up than we have. Dude, Raga, I love this one, dude. So Soft, nice. but that's... Here's the problem. Raga's too big. He's in the men's now, so you can't do the matchy match with the little bros anymore because he's got to buy a men's version. They don't always have the same thing in I kids. I know. It's so hard. It it's actually so makes sad. it really hard. Yeah, dude, you're growing up, but I do like that for you. I love that, I kind of want to get it. I love it. What do you think, Kirby? Just <laughs> classic <laughs> black. Oh, you got the nice little thumb holders. So perfect. I think this is the right size. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is the one right here. It's good through here, good through here. And if it gets really cold, I can have my thumbs come in here. <laughs> Bro, you're gonna be waiting in line for Avatar ride wearing that. Oh, yeah. Get ready, get psyched, get pumped. Oh, look at Kirby do. Okay, I like this. You know what? It accidentally like almost perfectly matches the mask you have on right now, which is kind of random. Oh yeah, I didn't realize. Dude, I like it though. I like it. It's the right size. I think it fits really good through here. Let's check through here. Okay, I like that. Brexy Doodle, what do you got on? He's got the blue version on. Brexy Doodle, check that out, dude. What do you think? Do you like it? This looks like Kirby. Oh, thumb holes. Look so like guys, sweater, this is like the first time we're not matching. If you guys remember last year when we went to Disney World, I actually came here to this Target and I think it was like on this wall and I picked up some simple zip ups and then we had them branded and logoed with our logo stuff on it, which was awesome. But we all matched, which was cool. We usually match. But guys, first time ever, we're going gray, blue, totally different style over there. Because now he decided to grow up and We're growing up. Ends. We just really walked past the flip flops and I was like, Ryler has grown so much since last summer. He doesn't have flip flops. Here we are, flip flop end cap. Ryler guy's gonna try on some flip flops and get him some sand. My guy is looking at the 11, 12, or 9, 10 because he's right in between at like a 10 and a half. This giant Bigfoot over here. Next one, dude. Next one. Oh Are my you gosh. Me? That's, That's the, the 11, 12. Down. That is the same freaking flip flop that I would buy, dude. Whoa. What the heck, dude? What is going on with this kid? So we have flip flops, we have yep. jackets. Yep. We've got swimming suits, hand sanitizer, masks. We've got a few things. I think we've got all the necessities, all the things that maybe we didn't already have. We'll go home and show you a few of them. I do think that we were able to fight the crowds today, Target, just as busy as the mall. But I will say, we did get stopped and asked if we were swimsuit models today <laughs> in Target by Marissa. We're gonna go head home, go get the stuff unpacked, unloaded, and get ready for Disney World, baby. We just got home. We got a few things that we're gonna pack, you guys. We are going to do a full packing video so you'll see everything that we have. So make sure you watch that. But a couple of things we did get, you guys, I know it's kind of silly. We're gonna need hand sanitizer like crazy but they have the cutest little hand sanitizers to go on everyone's bags. So I caved and bought them. Let's see, we got a swimming suit here. Just a couple of random things. We did pick up the kids each one of these really cool masks. I've heard actually from several of you that their masks are really great. So we're gonna take a couple of these, but I think we're gonna mostly use disposable ones. So in case we get sweaty, we can throw them away. I feel like we have some great stuff. We've ordered the kids some shirts that came Okay, but can I show one of these? This is probably like highlight of all shirts. This is Ryler's shirt and he chose it. I freaking he love the that. Princesses. That's an awesome so, shirt, love it. It is really awesome but I think we have some great things mostly I just need the kids to try on some things and find out what's gonna fit. It's a very successful outing it started off just kind of crazy chaotic we felt like the Disney store didn't have as many of the things that we were looking for. A lot of great stuff just but not what we then we, we found for. some gems that we didn't realize maybe we wanted and then we were able to find the zip up jackets that we needed but I do think that we are ready for the various kinds of weather they're gonna be experiencing it's really just those first two and a half days that it's cooler and then it looks like it starts to warm back up and we're back into the 90s so we really have to prepare for everything from down in the 50s I up know. into the 90s on that week that we're gonna be there but I I think we have most everything we need and the plan so. is to get packed on a Monday. So we will be packing up very soon, you guys. Gonna be going through every single thing that we have, making sure that everything's accounted for. It's gonna be quite a bit of luggage, I feel like. I feel like it really is because can't do laundry we are not place. staying in a house that we could do laundry. So we're gonna be in a hotel. Like Brandon said, we're gonna be having to pack for a warm, cold swim, sandals, tennis shoes. Bunch of kids, nine days. It's gonna be a lot, guys. Later that same evening. We got a mini celebration going on here in the house and there's nothing mini about it if I'm being honest. I I was gonna say, it's a big one. We just hit 200,000 followers on Instagram. What? 200,000? 
thousand of you? That is incredible, you guys. We tell you all the time to go over and check out what we got going on on Instagram. We got the Insta stories, we got the posts, we got the pictures, we got all the good things. Some stuff that may not be in the vlog. Sometimes we just got Most a quick second to snap a little something, something in an Insta story. I tell you guys, go check it out. And you have, you guys, 200,000 of you have. Thank you. So much. You guys are the greatest. We had to celebrate that. And so tonight, to celebrate the 200K milestone on Insta, a little bit of homemade dessert Oreos. I'm about to make the frosting. The cookies are right there, ready for us to eat. Getting a better way to celebrate such a delicious milestone than to have some homemade Oreos. Oh, 200K never tasted so good. <laughs> Boys trying on a couple of the things here. We've got a Lilo, is this Stitch? Which one is this? Stitch. Stitch. We got a You Are Out of This World Stitch shirt. I didn't know we were getting any of these. This is kind of cool. This was what crew chose. I let them Oh, on the you actually chose this one. I love it, dude. It's sick. You like that? That one seems kind of small. Guys, I love when you match. I wish we could get you guys I all to match. Size. Here. Right, guys, too big. Kirby Doo rocking some Captain America. Guys, this is fun. Little sneak peek, little preview of some of the clothes we got going down. Just trying to make sure they I fit. Can... Mom got like a couple of sizes of each just to make sure that we can return the ones that don't fit. But that one looks like it fits pretty good on you, Kirby Doo. Okay, all right, I like a little tie-dye Mickey Brexy doodle. Tie-dye, we can finally work tie-dye into some of your Disney clothes, and you guys have matching Mickey shirts with tie-dye. I love it. It's gonna be one of my favorites, I think. I love this one. Here's the new suit we got today, guys, at the Disney store. This was like a last-minute find. We weren't even looking for suits, but I freaking love, <laughs> I love it, dude. It. <laughs> you look so boss, dude. I think we give you a sneak peek of this one, you guys. This is gonna be a Brexy suit that he has that actually matches something that Hazel has as well. We'll show you guys that one a little bit later. Maybe when we do our packing vlog and we show you all the stuff we're packing up. Make sure you come back to watch those videos because it's gonna be super interesting. Carry on packing. We are going to be packing our suitcases. The biggest thing, almost the biggest thing that's happening next week, you guys, Ryler's getting his braces off. Guys, all of that going down this week as we prepare to head out to Florida to Disney World. There's a lot going on. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the alert. You don't want to miss a single video. A lot. It's gonna be a big week. We love you so much. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you guys next Good night, everybody. That's cool. <laughs> I love it. Come up. You'll be everybody at the hat. You're the hat.